Upgrading or retrofitting insulation on 500,000 homes is a key part of the government's climate action plan. But how much will it cost and who will pay? These are things that have yet to be fully worked out. Our reporter Coleman O'Sullivan has been finding out. Improving the insulation in your attic is still the most cost-effective way of upgrading your insulation. But external insulation is the one many people are talking about. For many older homes, it would be needed before you could install a heat pump. For a typical semi-D house, you might be, or a three-bed semi-D house in, say, Dublin, you might be looking at an investment of maybe 16,000, 17,000 capital costs. But with the 35% grant off of that, so you're bringing that down closer to 10,000 euro, which makes it very affordable. This home assessment visit is part of the Pro Energy Home Scheme now being offered by some credit unions. Somebody approaches the credit union and we'll take it from there. So it's a package of benefits. We have a 35% cash grant from the SEAI. We have project management provided by our partner organisation Retrofit Energy Ireland and the credit union provides a, a low rate finance loan. How much the homeowner wants to spend is up to them. Richard used the scheme last year to upgrade his boiler and heating controls and may go again. With the grants and with how efficiently the whole thing runs, it's definitely worthwhile looking at something else, yes. I think I'd probably look at maybe wall insulation and maybe looking at getting the windows uh, replaced. Housing associations are also offering to provide finance and project management for retrofits. They have some experience of upgrading their own stock. If the government put these in place, certainly uh, for the end of the year, housing associations could be geared up to do this. As long as we get a signal, the key thing on any scheme is there's a signal there. There are many ways that upgrading and retrofitting home insulation can be financed. The government has committed to looking at how schemes can be drawn up. That work will be done over the next year or so. The focus now will be for all of us to do this as quickly as we possibly can. I know Richard, Richard Rutten is very driven on this as well, as, as is the Taoiseach as well, so we are very focused on making this happen. The 26 credit unions offering the service say demand for retrofits is already on the up. Coleman O'Sullivan, RTE News.